Chief, we spoke a couple weeks ago about the jaywalking ordinance. Yes, sir. And we on the first reading. Now the second reading, so I guess the ink is dry and it'll be <laughs> on your book. So what's your plan? It will be. Well, I mean, the amendment tonight I think is a big deal because it allows us to be able to deviate from state code with, with our town code. We're able to write a lesser charge. You'd be able to issue somebody what's in, in essence a, a moving Speed violation ticket. or a traffic ticket, yeah. right? For uh, for that, rather than have a criminal actual criminal charge for it, um, and the penalty can be up to hundred dollars. It could be far less than that. It's up to the judge. Um, but and, and again, jaywalking comes down to um, kind of the severity of it. I mean, if you cross the street in the most direct fashion in a safe manner and you're not at an intersection, you're not going to be charged for that. I mean, it's it's flagrant violations that could cause injury uh, or accidents. Is, Darting in and out right, of Right, exactly, exactly. Um, officers are not going to be hunting this violation down. <laughs> it's going to be one of those things when they see a, a flagrant violation that causes a near accident or something like that, well, they will so take action. You're going to be instructing your officers that if this they walk a, in front of them, they're going to get a ticket. Again, this is a common sense this is a common sense ordinance that we're that we're trying to, to move forward with. It's uh, you know it's it's nothing beyond that. Uh, it, we're interested in in safety, not generating tickets. So. And I understand there's no quota for this. No sir, no quota. Write all you want. Write all you want. All right. <laughs>